they hold, hold up pretty well. I mean, hard booms go up and down several times in a day. They never had a weld on them yet. They're made to fold easy, and the best feature is, is you can't fold them on the go, so it makes you stop. So when you go to fold your tips in, you uh, can't be flopping them around and twisting them, and it's got the breakaways in the right spot. So, yeah, I like the booms. We've been running Apaches for, this is our third year. Uh, we've had little trouble with the booms. The, they're made solid. Uh, if you hit something with them, you may have trouble, but they're solid made. The welds hold together. Um, they're just very reliable, little, very little trouble with them. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna hold up great. I mean, um, good, good support system. I think, uh, I think I think they'll take a pretty good beating out there. I mean, of course, every sprayer, you know, there's going to be times where you're going to hit. And there's nothing you can do to to stop that. But uh, I don't. I haven't noticed any weak spots. I've talked to a lot of people. There's nobody saying anything about weak spots. And the booms, they took it as good as I handed it out, and I was surprised that uh, that everything went as smooth as it did there. The boom is wonderful, the way it works, the way it operates in rough ground. All of our ground is uh, terraced ground and uh, somewhat hilly. And so uh, with the, the bigger, larger boom, that was a concern. But uh, the boom stability is, is really amazing. Yeah, the boom on the machine is a well-built boom. Uh, I have tapped a few poles with it and I haven't, seen any damage, any dents. Uh, I think it's a well-constructed boom. It, uh, it don't move a whole lot going through the field. Uh, as far as the as the side to side motion or up and down motion, it stays pretty stable going through the field and that's what I like about it. Well, as far as the structure of the booms and uh, the structure, structure of the machine itself, I have no complaints. It seems pretty uh, vigorous in, the, in that it's pretty well. And uh, the first time I used it, I, I took it into a fence. <laughs> I was spraying pasture. You're going up and down real fast. And I was just learning it. I didn't know what I was doing really. And, and I took it into a couple fence posts and I didn't tear anything up outside of a nozzle body. Uh, they handle oopses quite well. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to run them into sprinklers before and barbed wire fences and they do hold up. I pulled nozzles off of sprinklers where I didn't turn sharp soon enough. And the boom has held up great. We haven't had any trouble with any kind of boom issue. So even after running the previous two for several years, we, we never had any wear. I don't think you'll have any problems because it seems to be a pretty uh, simple and straightforward design. And I think it'll probably last the length of life of the machine at least with no problem. You know, it might outlast two machines. We knew we wanted to be bigger, 120 was pretty common, fit rows and everything, but we really don't harp on that much, so we thought why not get the other 12 feet, 132 was the biggest they offered, so we went with that. Um, haven't regretted it yet, had a 100 footer on the last machine on the 2011, and this boom, 132 foot, handles just as well, just as good as the 100 foot steel boom. It's, it's amazing. It's very nice, very nice boom. Where I was spraying 600 acres in the morning, before noon, now I'm getting about 720. This is the 1200 gallon machine, so that gave me more capacity also over a thousand gallon machine. I, most mornings before it gets hot, I can get three loads out in the morning. So with the bigger boom and the bigger tank, I'm about 120 to 150 acres better every day. Uh, I think weight's a big, a big thing and you know, it's like I said, it, it compares real close to the 100 foot steel boom. And there's, I don't think there's any different weight wise, the way, it, way the machine handles the boom itself. And it's a, it's a great design. Um, I don't see any flaws in it. It came from the factory that way. We didn't have to worry about getting bigger after the machine got here. It came set up, ready to go, nine sections, the auto boom. I mean, it's, it's decked out. It's, it's all you can ask for. It is, the whole machine is a smart machine. If you let the technology on the machine 
do what it is capable of doing, it makes running the machine very easy. It makes your job trouble free.